there was um, something very important about the delegation, um, important for me and in my experience, I think for all of us uh, who were part of it, and that was that we were a diverse delegation, Indigenous uh, settler newcomer together, um, and that brought a particular kind of clarity uh, to this uh, this particular visit. Um, uh, maybe different than some of us had experienced before. And so there was a question and I'll pose it to Roz for you to, as one of the co-chairs of the delegation, to share a little bit about how did we make the connections? Did we make the connections? How did we do that uh, in our experience uh, between uh, the situation of Indigenous peoples in Canada and the broader the, the Americas and the situation in Palestine, Israel? So I will uh, give you that question to respond to on, on all of our behalf. <laughs> oh, well, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to truth tell. I'll tell you what. Um, I think that it was, I think it was difficult for everyone to come back to their, like I said, their Western context, uh, to come back to Canada, um, to, you know, to, to enter in back into their lives after, after this, uh, this life changing experience. So, um, uh, I, th I think I think everybody on this delegation was struggling uh, in their in their own way of of their own um, position um, uh, in their communities and of course in in in, in their livelihoods. Um, I, I I won't I won't claim that that was only on on myself. Um, I think we started to really recognize um, the similarities and the differences on the struggle between uh, the Palestinians um, in the state of Israel uh, and uh, the indigenous people of Canada and the, the um, government of Canada, or the state of Canada. Um, I think that uh, there, is, there are uh, certain, certain broad strokes that um, Canada is certainly um, coming to realize and that uh, I think the the people of of Israel um, are starting to realize, and that is and that is the incremental uh, genocide of our people here in Canada, our indigenous people here in Canada, and the Palestinian people um, there in in West Asia. I think that um, um, politically uh, our our contexts are different. Um, Tarek spoke of the one state, two state, or or confederacy uh, question. Um, those are, are broad political questions um, that have that have very that are variegated answers. Um, we uh, consider ourselves Canada's original people, and that of course brings up a whole bunch of differences between our situations. Um, but I think that we have to really concentrate on the fact that. Um, what is really at stake here, again, as I said, is personhood, uh, the ability to participate in democracy, the ability to have a voice um, is, 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 is critical to us, the, the ability to uh, establish our, our sovereignty within our own, within our, ourselves, within our communities, um, can't happen without these basic human dignities of clean water these basic human dignities of being able to go with your child as a young father, to go with your child to the hospital. Um, that, is, that, is, that is critically important to uh, the Palestinian communities and the, the Palestinian people. Um, same critical to, to us as well. So we really struggle uh, with that uh, together. And that is a question to, um, uh, non-Indigenous Canada and to settler communities in Israel is you have a place of privilege in which the government protects you. And we fight that daily. And so, and I say we, as I, I say that in, in, in uh, unity with my Palestinian brothers and sisters, um, that um, those are, those are some, those are some, some striking Simula sim uh, similarities um, uh, that we that we share. Um, <clears throat> I think 
also when I think of like, for instance, um, Lucy's uh, very um, uh, groundbreaking work in Palestine. I mean, she has, she has the heart of, of a native woman. And there are women uh, in Canada like her who, who work to um, create spaces for these voices to come through. I mean, as we believe that women are the, the life givers of a nation. And so it's really important that we support initiatives that, that uh, uh, Lucy is, is so passionate about. Because again, she's not only um, giving that space, but these women are, are learning again some of, the, some of their, their ancient arts that they have lost. Um, and they are becoming stronger women, stronger mothers, stronger sisters, and stronger wives. Um, and that really, really builds, really builds uh, a nation. So I think, you know, this is, this is so important, um, both in Canada and in Palestine. Um, the work that Wiam does with Tarek and, and uh, Mr. Zugby, they're so, um, uh, so important to the wider cultures and, and certainly bringing dialogue um, to, uh, to the to various communities, both uh, Palestinian communities and in um, Israeli communities who are working together to, to create a just and, and, and peace um, place there in uh, the ancient in the ancient lands. So I think that um, our struggle our struggles are are similar. Uh, it is it is important that privileged Canada uh, support uh, these initiatives, both in in Canada and in Palestine and in, in the world. Um, it takes all people to build peace, and it takes all of us to come together uh, with our with our many backgrounds uh, to create. <clears throat> Uh, equal rights and dignities for for ourselves for each other uh, that recognition of personhood I think is is crucial and is critical uh, both in Canada and Palestine um, one of the things that that uh, before I before I give before I, I, I end one of the things that um, Tarek had mentioned was the recognition of the past um, and that too is is critical to uh, Canada's understanding of their privilege. Uh, it is critical to um, the state of Israel's understanding of the incremental um, genocide of, of, of the Palestinian people. Um, it's also important for us as Indigenous people and as, as my brothers and sisters in Palestine is to recognize how that has affected us. Um, I, I remarked several times during the delegation that we have normalized in Canada the reserve structure. This is not normal to live in a block of land that is governed uh, by the federal government is not normal to struggle with clean water when just uh, when just 25 miles away there is a, wa a water that is that is that froze, flows freely is not normal. It's not normal, and the Palestinian people they struggle against against um, normalizing that way of life. But they wake up to it every day, just as we do. Um, and I think it's important as 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 we go forward is to recognize those those little events. Um, again, that's going going back to recognizing how this this uh, colonizing colonization has affected us, has affected uh, our social fat, has affected our our bodies. Um, so um, I I I stand in solidarity with uh, my Palestinian brothers and sisters, and I hope that my Indigenous brothers and sisters uh, do the same as uh, I speak to councils and so on um, here in Canada. Thank you for the question, Jennifer, I appreciate it.